In this video, I'll go over how to check if a cell contains text. If you're new here, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make videos on this channel to help people learn how to use LibreOffice Calc. So in the first scenario, if we just wanted to see if a cell is blank or actually has text in it, we can use the isBlank function. So for right now, cell A4 through A11 are all blank. Once I put in some spaces, the value will change. Now we see in cell B7, it's telling me cell A7 is not blank. This might be useful when copy and pasting from a website or some other source, and we just needed to make sure that a blank cell is actually blank or whether it contains some white space in there. Another scenario is if we had a column of data and we just wanted to see if a certain value is there in the column. Here I'll just have a column of months. And if I just wanted to see which cells in the column mentions February, I could use a basic equal sign. And I can copy down the formula. And we see here, for example, cell E17 gives me true and also E5. A formula that does the same thing here is the exact. And just to be clear, this is case sensitive. So instead of a capital J, and I use a lower case, it will show me that the answer is false. And the third scenario is if we wanted to find a specific substring or part of a word in a cell. In this case, if I want to check for date, then I could either use the search function or the find function. Search is case insensitive and find is case sensitive. So in using search, we'll look for day within cell D5. Now obviously there's no day in February, but if I change what I'm looking for, to be Feb, then it gives me a value. The number one stands for the index of the word where Feb is first found. So obviously Feb is in the start of the word. If for whatever reason I wanted to look for the last two letters in February, for example, now it gives me seven because R is in a position seven from the start. And like I said, for find, it is case sensitive. So if I wanted to look for mar in March, it gives me an error that shows no value is found. I'll copy down the formula and I'll look for April. In this case, I do have a value showing it found APR in my cell. So that's it for the three scenarios. There are a few other formulas that are useful, which will give more functionality. So I recommend either using the match formula or VLOOKUP. Match will look within the whole column and then give us the row where it finds a specific word. VLOOKUP will look within the column and then we can tell it to give us a corresponding cell next to the column. And this could work for multiple columns as well. I made a video on this, which I'll link in the description below. And I'll include a few other help pages as well, if you're interested to learn that. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay nifty.